Through the decades, downtown Louisville has been home to a lot of ups and downs. One of those highs, the opening of the Louisville Galleria, an attempt to revitalize the once bustling heart of the city. But when the mass exodus to the suburbs hit our city, the Galleria became a piece of the past. Shay McAllister takes us back in tonight's WHAS 11 vault. So after two years of a lot of talk and very little action, it appears that the Galleria project is finally getting up off the ground. Construction tonight set to begin the end of this October. Chuck Olmstead covered the creation of Louisville's Galleria for years, taking trips to Canada and Minneapolis to explore the concept, sharing the 3D scale models, and then the grand opening came in 1982. <laughs> Excited shoppers gathered outside the glass doors as an orchestra played inside the new mall. This soaring architectural marvel has changed the look and feel of the heart of the city. The 26-story office towers have changed the skyline. The buildings reflect the community, literally. It was a moment of hope, the governor cutting the ribbon, putting 4th Street in a glass capsule. It's really quite a bit more than I expected and it's just, I used to work downtown years ago before my children and I just love it. It's a lot of excitement and it's, I think it's a boost to downtown Louisville. Colorful banners decorated the ceiling as shoppers filled every space inside the new retail center. Visiting the department stores, small businesses, cafeterias and theaters, it cost more than $130 million to build. Funding came from the federal government and Oxford Investment. A big investment by some experienced investors who really believe in downtown Louisville, its reality and its potential. The Galleria's opening was celebrated with a big gala. We're back here in the atrium of the uh, new Louisville Galleria here in the heart of the city. The TV special also featured what might be one of the greatest musical creations of all time. Look what we can do. But the effort to rebuild Louisville's once dynamic downtown didn't last. The Galleria fell on hard times in the early 2000s, and when it was gone, 4th Street became live. 4th Street Live is off to a stunning beginning. It has become a real entertainment destination. But can it survive in the dead of winter, or is it just an outdoor Galleria? 4th Street Live first opened to the public in 2004. Since then, the space has held numerous businesses and restaurants, concerts and events. It's seen its fair share of ups and downs, but almost 20 years later, 4th Street Live carries on the tradition, bringing Louisvillians downtown for eats and entertainment.